are you doing awake? I can't sleep either, huh? Neither can I. Oh. oh, I wasn't asleep just then. As I don't think I was anyway. I was just staring off in the space, and my eyes sort of drifted shut, but I don't feel like I fell asleep. If I did, I dozed off for two minutes, maybe. What's up with you? Just can't... Can't calm your brain? No, oh, go ahead. Uh, talk about it, you might as well. We're both awake, right? get that too. Sometimes I have nights where <sighs> sometimes I have nights <sighs> my brain is just just won't shut off, you know. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking of like 50 different things and and I try everything. Like, I try some sleep aid. I try white noise. There's, uh, there's one on YouTube I really, really like. I could start playing that if you want. Uh, don't have to. It was just a suggestion. But usually one of those work. One of those solutions, I mean. What happens when they don't work? <laughs> then sometimes I'm out of luck. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I was a kid... I had a window that was over, I mean, two windows, actually, in one of the corners of my bedroom. They were on opposite walls. And sometimes they would have the absolute perfect view of the moon. And I always wanted my bed closer to those windows so that I could just look outside sometimes. But that's not how I arranged my room. No, no, I didn't, I didn't move it, I didn't change it. I don't know why. <laughs> You'd think that if you were really, really interested in watching the stars on a night where you couldn't sleep that You'd make it easier on yourself and have the bed by the window. <sighs> uh, but nope. My bed was in the far corner of the room. So that meant that I couldn't really see the stars, but I could see the moon on occasion. And every so often on those nights where the moon was really bright, it was really comforting. It would always remind me of the time when I was a kid. I once stayed up all night long watching a rainstorm go overhead. Yeah, no joke. Because when you're a little kid, you like don't have a perception of time or whatever, right? Like. It's just all one big experience for you, especially when it was something you really enjoyed. 
I don't know, this storm just started up one night, and then I was just watching it go by. It was loud. There was a lot of thunder and lightning, and the rain just fell in sheets, and it was... It was really beautiful. And every so often I think about that night and I wonder... Why the hell did I stay up all night watching a rainstorm when I was a kid? <laughs> but you know, when you're a kid, you don't think about that kind of stuff. You just think about doing the things you enjoy doing. And that's all it was. I enjoyed watching rainstorms. I would just sit and look out the window for hours, just watching thunderstorms move past our house. So I guess it's not really that big of a surprise that I would watch a rainstorm in the middle of the night. Funny thing about it was, it was cloudy and just starting to rain at dusk. And then there wasn't a cloud in the sky at dawn. I caught to watch the sunrise. I was patient enough to just sit and watch the sunrise. And it was beautiful. No, no, I, I couldn't see. I couldn't see the sun directly. It was more like, it was more like being aware that it was getting lighter outside. <laughs> And then eventually seeing sunbeams streak on the pavement and on my front yard. It was beautiful to me. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep for most of that day, too. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember how old I was. <sighs> but I always loved watching the rain. I remember that. You ever have a night like that where you're just lying awake and watching something happen overnight? <laughs> Every night you have insomnia. Fair enough. Well, I just try not to think about things. Which is easier said than done. Uh, it's, it's when I do the one thing that's kind of worth the most. I try and calm my mind and even my breathing. And then more often than not, I'll just cuddle up to you. Spoon you. And just hold on to you and try to listen to your breathing. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds sweet and romantic until I get too hot and then I get bummed because I can't hold on to you anymore. <laughs> I don't know. But it works. It works when it has to. So I guess that's something we could try right now. Mm hmm? I hold on to you, we spoon, and then we can just try and even our breathing, and just listen to each other breathe. What do you think about that? Oh. Say at the very least, uh, it's worth a shot. And if it doesn't work, then we can at least say we tried. Okay. Come here. Yeah, you can lay like that. That's fine. I love the 
the shampoo you were using too. I know I've told you that already. I'm telling you again. It's great. Let's just try and even our breathing, okay? See if we can't lull each other to sleep with the sound of our beings. I don't know. I'm tired. I need to sleep. Good night, love. I love you too.